Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. If you find at the end of this video that you got some value and you liked it, do me a favor, just share it on Twitter, stumble upon Facebook, LinkedIn, and or Google Plus. I'd really appreciate it. If you leave a comment, that would be great too. Okay, before we get started with this particular video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook like box, not a Facebook like button, but a Facebook like box with all the pictures of all your fans in there. I'm going to show you how to add that into um, a WordPress blog or website that uses any theme. I've got another, I've already created another video where I show you how to do this if you're using the WordPress thesis theme. But before we do that, I want you to focus down here on this right here this blog post you're going to need to go to this blog post before you do today's video tutorial and you're going to have to create your own Facebook application so you can get an application ID or an app ID it's really easy just watch my video in this blog post on my website the video is only four and a half minutes really so much easier than it sounds okay so let's get started here's the demonstration blog Jim's Max GXL marketing team I'm scrolling down it's got one sidebar on the right hand side now I want to place that Facebook like box right in here right under this pages widget there's the dashboard for this blog and I'm gonna go right over here where we're going to start out um, if you look at this URL it says developers.facebook.com I'm already logged into my Facebook account so what you're gonna do is go down here where it says build for websites click one time then it says social plugins click there one time and then you're gonna get another link right at the top for social plugins click it again and a bing did a bang did a boom you're at this page right here which is great now in case you got lost or in case they changed the links or something on Facebook this is the URL, this is the web address to get to this particular page with the social plugins. Now here's the like button, we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to scroll on down to get to the like box. So just click on that one time, real easy. And this on the left generates the code that you need, and this on the right is giving you just an example of what it's going to look like on your WordPress blog or website. Okay, so right here it's asking for the fan page or fan book page URL. So let's go to my Facebook fan page and I'm going to click on this tab in my browser right here. So we're at the Jupiter Gyms marketing team because I don't just post links from my blog here, I post links to blog posts from some of the top bloggers in the world. Okay, so let me just go over a couple of them real briefly and we'll get back to the video tutorial. Right here, basic blog tips. We've got Miss Eileen under that, Denise Wakeman. She's got Build a Better Blog. She does the Blog Squad. Great stuff, Jim Tarrant. Just ask him, Kimberly Castleberry, another blog master. No picture there, sorry about that. We've got Anna Hoffman of Traffic Generation Cafe. We've got Brinkika, Live Your Love Blog. And of course, we've got at blondish.net, we've got Niall Flores. Anytime you go to any of these blogs and sites, those blog posts will help you get more traffic, more subscribers, and build a better blog. Okay, so. I'm done with that. Go up here, copy and paste the URL. Click it one time or press Control A to select all. Control C to copy, Command C on a Mac. Go back here. I'm going to hit backspace, Control V to paste, Command V on a Mac. Width, I don't know the exact width. Let me just put it at 200 right now and see how that looks. Height, notice how this changes as I change this stuff. Height, well, before we deal with height, let me get rid of show stream because this is the stream. I'm, I don't think they really need that because they're already on my blog. Height, let's say we've got two rows here at 200. Let's, me, let's make it 450 and just see what happens. Okay, 450 pixels. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, um, here's the header up here. It says find us on Facebook. You can leave that or not. I like to leave it. Okay click get code step one it says right here this script uses the app ID of your app so if you've watched that previous video and followed along you've already created an app this gives you a drop-down list of your different you know Facebook apps I've already 
created one, whatever, too, in the demonstration, but I created one later. Jim's Max GXL team, we'll use that for now. Click in here one time, it highlights everything. If it doesn't, just press Control A to select all. I'm going to press Control C, the Control C plus the key to copy. Command C if you're on a Mac, click here to deselect. I'm going to go into the dashboard. Here's my demonstration blog right here. We're going to go into this dashboard of the demonstration blog where I've already logged in. Okay, now here's the little bit of a tricky part. So we're going to go down here to Appearance. We're going to click on Editor. Okay, and it brings us to the 2011. That's the theme we're using, the style sheet. You're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says header, header.php. That's the name of the file. I'm going to click on that one time. Okay, and this shows that we're at the header, header.php file. Now, let me warn you, before you ever touch a PHP file, you really, really, really need to back it up or you're going to have a real bad day if you miss so much as one semicolon. You don't want that to happen to you. So I've created a short series of videos, two or three, on how to use the FileZilla FileZilla FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And I've got a short series of videos on my blog that show you how to back up these files. So watch them back up these files. It's really critical in case you make a mistake. Now, um, we're supposed to, it says right in the instructions, let me click back here. It says right here, the script uses the app ID of your app. Right above that, it says, ideally, right after the opening body tag. So that's where we're going to paste it. So let's go back here. Okay, you can see right now we're at the header.php file once again. So I'm going to scroll down until I can find that opening body tag. There it is. Now there's the closing head tag right there. And right after the closing head tag, you're going to find the opening body tag. Now the key is to find that word body. This stuff may or may not be in the body tag. Don't worry about it. It's still a body tag. It's got the opening angle bracket, the closing angle bracket. Put the cursor after the closing angle bracket. Hit return a couple of times, press control V to paste the stuff that we just copied from step one. And that's basically all you need to do right there. So just go down here, click update file. Okay, we have just completed step one. I'm gonna click on the dashboard here, just to leave that page. Go back here. Now that was step one. Now for step two, it says place the code for your plugin wherever you want the plugin to appear on your page. So I'm going to click on once. It highlights everything. If it doesn't, press Control A. After you've highlighted everything, press Control C to copy. Command C on a Mac. Go up here. Back to the dashboard. I'm going to go to Appearance Widgets. Um, main sidebar. Right under the Pages widget is where we want to stick the uh, Facebook like box. So let's scroll up a little bit. There it is. So I'm going to put the text widget there. Inside the text widget from step two, I'm going to press Control V to paste. Then I'm going to click this. There's the code. Right in here you can see is the, the height, which is 450. You can see there's the width, 200. So you can modify that right in here if you like or if you need to. Don't be afraid. Okay, so you can see that the it hasn't the Facebook like box has not shown up anywhere in the text widget in the sidebar. It happens sometimes. Now, one thing that can help speed up the propagation of that change. Um, sometimes I'm going to just click save here. We already did that. I'm going to click close. Sometimes just logging out. It's bizarre. It will help speed up the process. Then click back to Jim's Max Excel Marketing Team. Scroll down. Hopefully this time it's there. I'm scrolling slowly. There's no time delay. And there, it worked. So that's all you need to know in order to add a Facebook like box to a text widget and sidebar in your WordPress blog or website, no matter what theme you're using. I've got another video for the thesis theme once again. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you like it and share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all that good stuff. Take care and have a great day.